feeling good i'm feeling good because you know i'm feeling good because i used to tell you now you can see it you can try to hide you can try to defend it but come on even if your your, your brains are freezing you can clearly see that how I saw it and I told you this government is not going anywhere. You can tell just by looking, you can tell that okay, here there is something. And today, that press conference, that press conference, you know underpinned i'm sure even those who are not convinced they could see that clearly mdala no plan mdala no plan no plan mdala no plan mdala ta pali plan mdala tuli otuma nankana tuma figures vachira chita cook vai pika vai pika vai pika kwa tinika kwa tinika pentaya nkwangu vale sholola 
Bale Tudisha, honestly, <laughs> I'll come to that first of all. Before I go there, I, I let me first uh, just talk about um, uh, those uh, appointments and the, the, the swearing in. Um, firstly, I want to congratulate, I've already said this, but I want to um, reiterate my point in congratulating, first of all, uh, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Patrick Kangwa. I think Dr. Patrick Kangwa is well deserving to be the, uh, the secretary to the cabinet. And I commend President Haka Inde Ichirima for that appointment. And today, Dr. Patrick Kangwa, is it Patrick Kangwa? Yes, it's Patrick Kangwa. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Patrick Kangwa was sworn in, and um, I say congratulations to him, and I wish him all the best. Surely, is the most deserving person in that position. Then, of course, my, uh, my good friend, um, um, Gilbert Piri. Gilbert Piri is now the DPP. Finally, we have a DPP after the way Lillian's Union was handed out. Lillian's Union was handed out, you know, illegally, I must say, illegally and brutally, she was handed out of that, that, um, that office. Now, that being the case, it is a warning to Gilbert Peary that look how these DPPs have been handed out of their offices. Look how they have been honed out of their offices because of political pressure. My brother, Gilbert Piri, I know you're a principled man. I know you're a good man. But make no mistake to think that you're walking into that office and it's going to be easy for you. It's not going to be easy. And why it's not going to be easy? Because you are going in there with a president like Haka Inde Ichirema. Akainde Ichirema is a vengeful person. Akainde Ichirema has come to fix some of us. He wants to fix some of us. It is not about the law. It is not about the law. And I'll talk about this because one of the issues that I'm discussing is the rule of law. So I'll talk about some of those issues that I'm talking about that, that I want to refer to. But in the meantime, I just want to end by saying, Gilbert Piri, you are in trouble, my friend. I don't envy you. From, frankly speaking, I don't envy you. I am happy. You are qualified. You are deserving in that job. But mm, I don't envy you. I don't envy you. Because you have a president who wants to fix people. You, are, you have a president who is hypocritical. A president who comes out professing the rule of law. But meanwhile is doing something else. So that position is not going to be easy. I will pray for you genuinely. I will pray for you because many times you will find yourself in a situation whereby you have to choose between justice and the desire of a president. This is a challenge that you have. You have this challenge. This president, we, only, only, only those who want to be naive can be fooled. President Haka Inde Ichirema has clearly shown that this man has come to fix. This man is a vengeful man. This man, you know, targets, he follows you. He fixes you. He doesn't respect the law. I'll talk about that later. But for Gilbert Piri, I congratulate you. But I want to insist to you that my brother, please do your level best. You are supposed to save the Zambian people, not President Daka Inde Ichirim. Yes, President Daka Inde Ichirim has appointed you, but save the Zambian people. And most importantly, you are dispensing justice. Justice is, is, justice is, is, is more fundamental. It is of a higher value. You are, you'll be taking away the rights of people. You'll be persecuting people if you don't dispense justice. And God will not be happy. God, who has put you where you are, will not be happy with you that you, you will be following this person in the name of President Daka Inde Ichirema, instead of doing justice to the people of God, me, I'm looking at God has called you to save the Zambian people, not Haka Inde Ichirema to fix some of us. 
it will be very, very bad. I am praying for you, my brother. I will pray for you. Believe me, I mean it when I say I'll pray for you. I'll be praying for you. Because I think among all those who were, who were, who were, who were sworn in today, when I was looking at you, I felt, I said, Shh, my brother is in trouble. And only God can help you. May God help you in your job. The other person that he, he has also come in with controversy is he, uh, this Chipenzi. I spoke about Chipenzi earlier on. But look, Chipenzi, I said it even earlier, that from my point of view, Chipenzi is one person that stands his ground. This is one thing that I like about Chipenzi. This is one thing that I like about Chipenzi. Chipenzi doesn't work to save individuals. No. He, he takes a position. And that position, though, yes, of course, we may not agree with him. But for me, one thing that I like is that at least there is some semblance of sincerity. That is one thing with Chipenzi. I have worked with him. I have interacted with him for a long time. At least there is sincerity. Even if he's wrong, at least he's doing it sincerely. And I can only appeal to my brother Chipenzi that that sincerity, take it to ECZ. Take it to ECZ. And of course, now that you have got this huge responsibility as a commissioner, listen more and consider other people's views other than maybe just your views. Consider other people's views so that at least at the end of the day, there can be a compromise. So I have no problem with the, a Chipenzi going there. I know others will say, no, Chipenzi is UPND. Who is not politically inclined? All of us, we are politically inclined. All of us, we are politically inclined. We may not just show it, but we are all politically inclined. We are all politically inclined, and we are inclined to political parties for some benefits. We are inclined to political parties for some benefits. Don't be cheated by these people that come up and say, no, 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 I just want to save. It is about, no, forget it. It's for some benefits. And Chipenzi, yes, he has been inclined to UPND for some benefits. And it has paid. He has been rewarded. He's a commissioner. For me, whatever his maths, it has worked. He's a commissioner. But now that he's there, we can only ask him to say, please, Look at, you know, be fair, be objective. That's all. That's all we can do. All of us, we are inclined, even me, eh? even me, if I'm appointed, you know, if it was a government that is favorable to me, they would have appointed me. And I would be inclined. The only thing that we can ask is to be objective. So this nonsense of trying to say, no, 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 is you PND, is whatever, is whatever. No, forget it. Is Zambian. At the end of the day, let's look at Chipenzi as Zambians. And saying that, it brings me to even Pilato. Pilato, for me, I haven't said anything about Pilato. Because I was really trying to think about, uh, about everything. I was processing it, you know. And for me, Pilato, I can only say congratulations to him now. His maths has worked. For a long time, Pilato has been, you know, uh, calculating and maneuvering here and there, trying to find a comfortable place. And he has landed there. He has landed there. He has been looking for a comfortable place. Forget about saving. No, Pilato has been saving. Pilato is an activist. Forget it. He has, just like you and I, just like everybody, he has been looking for a comfortable place. He has been looking for some heaven where at least Naena Mdala Kutano wako, ifinde waka frutikana, shan shani, notuwa natule tambako TV, na shan shani, na kisha, kalaifu kariya, ale ikafuwae, aka sanga. Ale aka sanga. He has been faster than us, than some of us. Wonsa fa tufuwaya, tuilawe panoku vipa, wonsa fa tufuwaya. Na wa aka inde ichile, manabove ene, that's why aka inde ichile ma is there. He also wanted, kalaka comfortable life. President, President, na chimota kid, wala mfa wino. Pirato na oso wa, pa mfa wino ka fly bifila fine, ni wa permanent secretary. Ala ndinga. He has come a long way. Remember that Pirato even went to PF. Remember that. 
He went to PF. Amo na ku PF takuli ubu kumo. Afu mako. Aya kuyu PND. Kuyu PND kulia. Amo kula shuta walungu. Wale shuta walungu. Bali mpela attention. He was given the attention. At one point remember he even had to go in exile. Who was looking after him? Who, who was looking after him when he went out of the country? Who was looking after him? It's those that saw uh, uh, whose interest he was saving. They looked after him. He came back, they helped him, and so on and so forth. And finally, today is PS. It has just worked for him. And I will not uh, say, no, what, 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 what. It has worked for him. Congratulations. His mathematics, his maneuvers, they have paid off at the end of the day. But what, what anyone should not cheat you, themselves, especially you young people, you young people, because many times you young people, you are misled. You are misled and you are used by these politicians. They use you, they get up, but no, 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 we are just saving, we are just saving. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. a comfortable life. One set to life ya kasuma. All of us, we want a good life. What is important is that when you are getting a good life, whatever good life, you also save. You also save others. That is what is important to me. We all want a good life. But when you are given an opportunity to save, save people as well. You know, bring people up as well. So, Pilato for me, congratulations. And uh, I mean, it has worked. It has worked. And for you young people, what you should learn from the issue of Vena Pilato, Vena Chipenzi, is that, you know, be consistent. Be consistent. Keep fighting and so on and so forth. Now, one day, Lika Puma. Keep fighting. Yeah. So that is, that is what I have to say on that appointment. But going further, I want to appeal to President Akainde Ichirem. That if you find a wapangira ntuanikane a a a pirato in Chito, you have created a position. That position that they have created, at they have split a ministry of youth, ministry of youth. They have split it into two. It is just to create a job for for pirato. That's all. That position has just been created for pirato, so that pirato can have a job, and of course maybe other people that will come. But you see, this is speaking, uh, speaking uh, has got three connotations. Number one, Baaka in the HLM was saying that, no, me, I want a small government. He was boasting of a small government, small government, small government. And uh, remember, even could be 10, by UPND, they even shot down the issue of deputy ministers. Eh? Deputy ministers, two, uh, two permanent secretaries. Baaka in the HLM was speaking strongly against the, you know, uh, a bloated government. He used to say, I'm going to run a lean government. No mamdala, alimu power, ay sanga politics. Ay sanga ti, ama positions yonse na filinga, kumuhu kuna nkane ku cabinet, ali isusha, ama, eh, ama shan, permanent secretary, at for special duties. Katwishi nefo wachita. Ba pole kafie. Permanent secretary for special duties. Permanent secretary for special duties. Vice to the cabinet office. Next thing now, he has started splitting these these uh, uh, these ministries. Eh? At no, a uh, pirato will be handling at a uh, a uh, banana will be handling sport. This is just a way to create jobs for cadres. That's all. This is just a, just a way to create jobs for cadres. This is not anything against Pilato, but just to, I'm talking about Waka in the Ichire Manombo. That Mwai Sanga government, that you still have to embrace uh, your, your cadres. And you saw that Pilato, Papakati, Apakwati, Alisa Tambokula, Wako frustrated. Because Alisa Makolukula, Shuta, Kokula, Shuta, Mwamo, Nat, Mmm, Yala Vipapa. Eh? Yala vi papa because now mumu na already a number of cadres have gone. Eh, ba mama chika moneka varia. Eh, eh, nani kano yu uyu 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 ntu nani kano? Eh, eh, mutinta mazoka aya. Eh, ni mufat na mama yawa nani kano? Mama yawa eh, alaba loya. Ba ba matamu shipe. 
Na what we fifuita. The point is that Vaaka in the Ichilema, what you used to talk about, that you are trying to you to, to run a lean government. So continue creating these and employ cadres. Because now Martha Mushipe na Bena Vale Fuenchito. Elo Martha Mushipe na Bena Vali Womba. Baba Martha Mushipe Vali Womba. Ukuchira na Bengi. Avali Mubu Teko Bwenu Waka Inde Ichilema. Martha Mushipe. I mean, for me, if I can say that if there was one person that I used to crush with, Niba Martha Mushipe. Because the woman is courageous. The woman traveled throughout this country defending, you know, UPND cadres. Mukoti Mudian Day in 2016, eh, is it year 2016 after uh, the presidential petition, 20, 20, 2015, during the presidential petition, those of you who were there, you could see how Martha Mushipe was responding to those uh, Concord judges. Martha Mushipe was even, you know, uh, suspended. She faced disciplinary uh, measures because of HH, defending HH. Her company, Martha Mushipe, as a lawyer, she's supposed to earn a living as a lawyer, but she couldn't practice. She couldn't practice. She couldn't take on other cases which could give her money because she was busy defending, defending UPND. There is no lawyer I can challenge you. You justice minister, Avena Ahimbe. There is no lawyer who worked as hard as Martha Mushipe. Now, Jack Mwimbu, there is no lawyer who worked as hard as Martha Mushipe. So, for me, I'm seeing it as an injustice. I'm seeing it as an injustice that Mualekeresha, Martha Mushipe, who, was, who worked day and night, lost everything she lost her company could not could not take on other clients she was busy handling upnd matters and you can't say that no she was being paid the tapadi mpia mwampere matha mshipe we know i mean remember that i i used to mingle with some of these lawyers of yours so i know what you were giving them how they were getting paid through uh, vincent uh, uh, through vincent Madam, I know. I know what, what the pool that was there and what they were getting. I know. So there is nothing that really Martha Mushipe got out of defending Haka Inde Ichirema and UPND. If she was getting money, she wouldn't have faced those uh, people that were harassing her, Panko Ngole. So please consider Martha Mushipe. Please consider also other people. Even in Tuankane, Uyu, this friend of mine, Uyu Tuankane, uh, this Kashap lawyer, Keith Mwemba. Keith Mwemba also worked very hard, especially Padi Dana Nikani. He worked very hard, Keith Mwemba. Why are you leaving them out? We are even now, who you? Eh? A Muvita now. Muvita now worked very, very hard. He suffered for UPND. So if you are creating, basically what I'm saying is that if you are creating, if you have created a position for, for, for Pilato, create positions for also these other people. Don't be segregating. Don't be leaving out some of these people. They saved you, uh, Baaka in the They worked very hard. They deserve to be recognized. They are Zambians. Even there and there, altruistically. Because I'm a public lawyer. And what I'm saying here is true. We saw how they suffered. Consider them. You have considered the uh, Pilato. The same way that you have considered Pilato. Can you consider these others as well? It is very unfair that you are giving other people jobs, but I want to be able to do it. Now, I want to call me, but I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to do it. I to the issue of uh, when I'll be talking about these statistics. So, I think pretty much on the, on the appointments, I'll leave it there. That is what I had to say. Let me move to the issue of now, the press conference of today. On the press conference, I'm going to work in the Ichirim. Ninji Shiva, Mule Tamba. Ninji Shiva, Mule Tamba. And I'm sure, I know, I mean, your kind of characters, your, your character is that one who, when you do something, 
and you go and sit and you are trying to watch eh? Eh? what are they saying what are they saying what are they saying what, how have i done you know you want assurance you want validation eh? you want to be praised i'm sorry i'm in the you won't get those praises from me you won't get those praises from me not because i don't like you or shan shan ipo adinu ma amamdala apa mdala ndela ndapa ndela ndafie ifishing kafie afu mfumo enefe i'm just speaking true truthfully mdala truthfully and objectively this i would tell na mfwe bachibani ba lungu abachikwata ida press conference i would still say the same thing even if it was munduwire because now they support the mundubire. Even if it was Mundubire who had that press conference, I would tell him to say, ah, Ndala Padia, watch Buzaza, watch Buzaza, watch Fika Savanya. You were all over the place, Ndala. Tamachivana logic muli press conference, Yenuidia. Ma, Ushe, Kwachwana Vachmia Fuako. This is the problem. This is, this is the problem of not, uh, you know, using your handlers i'm sure that press conference ngamwa chipisha ko kuri uliate ah uliate hamasaka hamasaka is a is a menace okay is a menace is very malignant but is a profession that's one thing hamasaka uli om guys wale running a achani a watchdog eh uli hamasaka uli is a profession is a professional is a journalist yes is malignant but i know he's a professional and if only you had used him i think he would have organized you, your speech much better than the tablalaza we had today it was tablalaza mdala it was everywhere yeah 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 yeah, yeah. mdala ira press ira press conference mdala ah yeah yeah, yeah. Mdala, that one was bad, Mdala. You were everywhere, Mdala. Ah, ah, ah Mdala. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad, Mdala. Nga kukuchonga idea. Nga kukuchonga idea, Mdala. Kukuchonga swati. Kukuchonga at press conference. Watch chaya. Ka take a chaya press conference. Ida Mdala idea. Kukupela fe. Kwisa kula samo fe three. Just because watch ta constructive into whatever, whatever, whatever. But in terms of delivering a press conference, Ndala Wachiwera Pofi. Because look, when a president says, I'm going to have a press conference, Ufirewa Kwata message Kuantu. You must bring something new. You must bring something new. Now, news headlines, Ndala, Awa Ichama journalist, Balefu, Balevura Pofi. One week, Balevura Pofi. Beruba Bura Puaka, Mairua Bura Puaka, Mairua. That is a press conference. No mbamdala ili awachi safu miya yu mdala. Finishi wa torelepo. Finishi wa torelepo. I can assure you that even those journalists who were there, they found it difficult to pick stories from your press conference. They found it difficult. What did you say? What did you say? What did you bring? What new thing did you bring? What direction did you give? Because that's a press conference. A press conference comes in to number one, bringing new things number two you know clarify certain issues number three the direction this is where we are going number four respond question question you respond to those issues you clarify you interact with a with a journalist that is a press conference mdala paribuka teka if we for to call if mdala ngatuafuma Policy direction number one. If you are new, as a government, my government, this is what we are going to do, this is what we are doing, this is what we are doing. 